Why is cheating brushed under the rug when a man commits the crime, but when a woman <laughs> cheats, the world is coming to an end? Whoever want, whoever right, wants I'm, it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this right. If I'm in a relationship with someone for the first like six to eight months, I think they're cheating on me. <laughs> what? <laughs> No joke. Why? No joke. Because, because, right? Cap can attest to this too. I know he can. That's, what? Right. That's my brother. I know you're gonna feel this, right? Think about it. When you start talking to a girl, right? When you start, when you get into a new situation with a girl, there's always at least one girl from, you know, that you're trying to, you're in the process of getting rid of, but you're not quite there yet. So when you got that new situation, it's brand new. You don't know exactly where it's, where it's, where it's gonna go. So you got that thing on the side just in case it go wrong. When it go wrong or when it's a little shit, shit at all. That's not true. We are we we are something. I right? <laughs> don't don't put that in my life. But all right. So let's say things are a little shaky. Mm -hmm. Then you know you you test that thing out here and there. You dabble in it real fast just until you know where you stand with that with that with that for sure thing. So for me, I always think that I always think that a girl's ex boyfriend is always gonna be in the loop mm -hmm. until she can establish her feelings for me. Mm -hmm. So. I always think the ex-boyfriend, in that six to eight months, he is, is liable for him to be hitting it at least once every couple months. That is All a right, long time. Excuse me. Hold on, but again, why is it that when a man cheats, it's brushed under the rug, but when a woman cheats, the world is over. Like I don't. Well, know. for me, for me, I don't think the world's over if a woman cheated on me. Like I'm, ex I'm anticipating the cheating, so I'm not like. Super heartbroken in the beginning, but if a woman, if we were, to, if I was, if I was to be with a woman for like five years mm -hmm. and she cheated on me, it would, like, it would hurt, it would hurt the hell out of me. But if I did the same thing to her, like, I'd feel just as bad as if she did it to me. Men, well, some men. I'm not gonna speak for all men. Some men are not gonna get into a relationship unless they know that this woman is someone that can represent them, even when they're not in the picture, you know what I'm saying? So let's say I'm with a woman and she goes to, it don't matter what venue, what event, if I'm not there, she's representing me to the fullest. And if I give her that title, when I'm not there, that means she's representing me to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? So reason why it hurts us so bad is because when we do give you that title, you know what I'm saying, and you do go out, we know like almost for a fact that for us, we can cheat on a dime piece with a, Point five, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? She ain't even the whole one. She could be a point five because we know, we know it's just strictly for the sex. Yeah. But with women, there's emotions. Yeah, with women, what they do is they'll converse with you. They put you in that friend zone. They converse with you. They get to know you. And if they're feeling you, they're gonna sleep with you. If I'm talking about not all women, because some women just slurs. They just gonna sleep with you regardless. But for most women who are in relationships they have to have some type of attachment in order for them to go mm -hmm. full throttle with pulling their panties down, opening their legs, and, and, and letting you inside of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, to go through all of that, you gotta be feeling somebody, if you're a woman. You know what I'm saying? It's completely different for us. Like, some women find their man cheating with some disgusting chicks and you know, whatever, whatever. But for us, we know, like, damn. Like, that's why it, it'll hurt a dude, because it's like, damn, like, behind my back, you really like this dude. Like you, you took the time to really te get to know this guy. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why it hurts us like that. I agree with you. That's what I was gonna say. I feel like for men, it's when they cheat, it's just sex. Like whatever you do with anyone. But for women, there's always some type of, and it doesn't even have to be emotional attachment to that person, but it can be something going on with her emotionally. Like maybe she felt like she needed to do something to hurt her boyfriend or her man or whatever so she i just always feel like for women there's so much more that goes into cheating oh, yeah. Most than it does than it is for men that's why so what were you gonna say sorry i was gonna say i don't i think for guys sometimes it has to do with emotions too and you guys saying that it has to do with emotions for females is why it's acceptable because you guys are making that an excuse as to why it's more acceptable for a guy to cheat than women like why is it that my emotions play a bigger part than Whatever you did, like, how do I know that you didn't like the girl that you were cheating on me with? Just look at her. That doesn't mean anything. Guys have cute girlfriends all the time and cheat on them with ugly girls. That's what yeah, you guys yeah, do. And then she breaks up with them and he ends up with the ugly girl. No. No, the, girl, the, girls never, the girls never break up with the boyfriends. They stay with them. 
Since and that's why they okay. keep on doing that. <clears throat> so, speaking of that, I saw a study on Huffington Post, and it suggested that the average male is more likely to get upset by sexual infidelity, while the average female is more likely to be bothered by emotional infidelity. Does that make sense to you? I think that bothered me more. What, sex or uh, emotions? emotions? Yeah, so like a man is you more know, likely yeah. to be upset with his girlfriend mm -hmm. to just because she just had sex with someone, whereas a woman is more likely to be upset with her man because he was emotionally failing. I would be more mad too. Because it's just like you have a girlfriend. Like whatever you were going through, like why couldn't I as your girlfriend like help you work through those emotions that you were going through? Yeah, I think it's more likely that a girl would say, why was you looking at her like that? You know what I'm saying? And, and with us, we don't do that. We'll, we'll, only time we'll say something is, I can't believe you really fucked that dude. You know what I'm saying? So y'all take it to the extent, like, like with that, that's normal, but like y'all will bug over. Why was you looking at her like that? I don't think it's more so looking at her. I think it's more- That's so the emotional thing. No, the no, emotional, no, that's physical. more than that. Emotional like you're is like- in another Right, like woman. you're spending time with her, you're confiding in her, you're telling her stuff that you should probably be telling me. Oh, it's okay. more so you expressing your feelings to her, not- yeah. What was that, man? Shout out to the side chicks. Speaking of side chicks, <laughs> because this was a question that I asked on the first show, which was on side chicks. Why would you sleep with another woman if you know that your woman sleeping with another man is going to hurt you and make you so upset? I asked y'all this question before. Ooh, that's a nice question. Who's that? <laughs> Matt, no? Well... <laughs> Can you read the question, please? Why would you cheat on your girlfriend and have sex with someone else if you know that her doing it is going to kill you? Um, I don't know what I did in the past. Uh, I'll say I can't, I, can, uh, I can't explain myself. <laughs> I'm guilty. I think it's the same reason why drug dealers sell crap knowing that they'll go to jail. They just want that, the, the thrill and the money. And we want that nut. Well, men want that nut. Yeah, but you're built, for you to have a side chick, that means you're building another relationship with someone else. Yeah. So it's just so, like, man. what do you mean? Side <laughs> chicks is, uh, the reason why they're a side chick is because like, you don't want anything permanent with them. Some dudes, don't get me wrong, I know some men who hold their, their side chicks to the same, you know, level they hold their woman but you know not all men like that there's no such thing as you just having a side chick and there's this is just oh i have a girl inside i'm having sex with that doesn't happen in 2015 you guys have a full-blown relationship yeah because niggas are soft in 2015 niggas but, that's, but that's what i'm saying like in 2015 you have a yeah it's a full-blown relationship it's, your second, like, it's not your side chick it's your second girlfriend right you're spending time with her you're taking her out you're spending like you're spending money on her everything so it's just like why not just break up with your girlfriend and just date that new girl if she's that excitement for you? What's the point? Like, I know someone that has a girlfriend and he deadass has, like, another girl on the side. I have a question. question. Not to cut you off, not to cut you off, but double standard. Which one's worse, a side chick or a side nigga? They're both the same. Both. This is both the same. No, no, no not really. Double standard. How? It's a double standard there. It's a double no. standard there because if you're a side chick, you got to look at it like this. Like, whatever, you know this man has a woman. Or Guys do the same thing too. But dudes is just their side, dudes is just there for dick. That's I a mean, lie. That is a lie. You guys tell yourself that, but it's a lie. Some dudes be knowing that girls have a boyfriend. Like I a think boyfriend. it's less likely for a side dude to jump into a relationship with that girl than it is for a side chick to jump that's into a, a relationship because with because that. That's a lie. Because that's a lie. People tell themselves like, oh, it don't matter. She has her man at home. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. But in the end, you're doing the same thing. That's what I mean. But you guys end up doing the same thing her boyfriend is doing. Like when that nigga no. pisses her off, she comes to you. You I'm guys side dudes is taking girls out on dates and stuff like okay. that. Okay, yeah, all right. Side dudes ain't taking girls that's out on dates. Lie. That's a lie. Side dudes don't take that out girls. That is a yes, lie. Yes, they do. No, yes, that's yes, the same. That's when her boyfriend's not taking her out on dates, she, that bitch wants to go eat and you eat, eat, eat. You're gonna take her. No, no, no. It happens though. No. 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 She wants to go out and her if wants to go to the movie and her boyfriend doesn't want to go. Who's she gonna call? Her side dude, and he's gonna take her. On that. That's a lie. People tell themselves like, "Oh, she's a side okay. chick." Like he, she, she, right? Like she, no, he don't give her nothing. You okay? The same thing he's giving you, he's giving exactly. her. Exactly. But you keep on telling yourself that. 
So this is not gonna be. So that's what I'm thinking. No, no these niggas just have two girlfriends. It's different. These niggas just have two girlfriends. These niggas just doing it wrong though. All right. Thank you. So I want to talk a little bit about forgiving after cheating. So I'm going to ask two questions. And I'm going to ask you the two questions, mm -hmm. get your response, and I will ask you the same two questions and get your response, and we'll see if it changes amongst men and women. So you have to listen very carefully because the questions sound very similar. Ready? Mm -hmm. Annalie, if you found out your partner is having a sexual relationship with someone else, but has not fallen in love with that person, could you forgive him? No. Okay, she said no. Anna Lee, if you found out that your partner has fallen in love with someone but is not having a sexual relationship with them, could you forgive him? No. Matt, do you need me to ask the questions again? Please. Okay. If you found out your girl is having a sexual relationship with someone but she does not love him, could you forgive her for that? Yes. Interesting. If you found out your girl has fallen in love with someone, no. but <laughs> <laughs> all right, and see that's crazy because well, you both said no to the last one, but the first one you both have had two different responses. Annalie, why couldn't you forgive him if he was having a sexual relationship but didn't fall in love? Because I, you still cheated. Like I don't care. You still had sex with someone. I don't know if you had sex with her with the condom or not. Still cheating. No. All right, Matt. And you said you could forgive her. Why is that? Um. All right. Here's my thing, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if I was, a, I have to. I'm operating under the assumption that this is the woman that I love, and this is going to be the woman that I plan to spend the rest of my life with. So if it's going to be till death do us part, we have to be able to work through that. Do for me. Okay, hold on. Okay, so she had, you guys are married. Mm -hmm. She had sex with someone. She didn't fall in love with him. You guys can work through that because till death do you part. But if she does fall in love with him and she's not having sex with him, you can't work through that? Uh, I don't think so. Because now love is involved. Because of, yeah, because you're... You're in love with somebody else. It doesn't mm -hmm. I don't understand how you can basically work on another relationship while you're in in one already. But I, I can understand how someone just has sex. Hmm. See, and that's weird to me. Because if we're married and you cheated on me having sex with someone else, it's just like, why'd you do that? Yeah, yeah. If we're married. So, given the responses that I got, I've read another study on Huffington Post. And it said that both genders always experience guilt after they cheat, but not for the same reason. So men feel guilty when they have a sexual relationship with someone, someone else, whereas a woman feels guilty when her cheating was more emotional. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, somebody owes nice. somebody a soda. <laughs> All right, um, moving on. So the last standard that we're going to talk about is shackles for men and chuckles for women. Does anyone have any idea what I'm talking about? No. Oh, yes, most definitely. All right. <laughs> so when a man commits domestic violence, he's punished harshly. But when a woman commits domestic violence, you know, sometimes people cheer her on. They respect her for doing that. Or sometimes they just ignore it. So um, I want to start this, this discussion with... A little incident that we all know about. So remember when Jay-Z and Solange was on the elevator? Mm -hmm. Everyone joked and made the funny memes about Solange attacking Jay-Z. She's not even in jail. But if Jay-Z attacked Solange that way, he would be facing different consequences. Why is that? I feel like because um, it's a, you know, myth. Well, it's not a myth. Let's just... Face. Men are physically stronger than most women, and um, women, you know, I, I feel like it's e men and women are equal. It's just that physically, men, a lot of men are more physically stronger than women, and um, but I don't think it's right because there's a double standard. Like we men shouldn't touch women regardless, but I feel like 
women shouldn't provoke men to touch them. And I feel like a lot of women, um, they know that double standard and they use that to their advantage. Um, for example, I was in a car one time and I saw like these two women arguing and then I saw this man come out the house and this woman grabbed him by his ponytail and was punching him in the face. And because there was a lot of witnesses out there, the man just ate those punches and kept him moving to the car. Now, I wanted so desperately to pull out my phone and call 911 and report her. You know, do it for all my bros who has been through it's that. It's not funny. I shouldn't It's lie. not funny. Because we go through domestic violence too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to do it desperately for all my bros who's been through that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And nobody will call the cops. And there was men out there watching it. And no one called the cops. But do you think she was hurting him? Yeah, it don't matter. Was he part of the no. fight? And she no, no, no. She, 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 he didn't do anything. And yes, it hurts him. If it doesn't hurt him physically, it hurts him emotionally. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it doesn't matter if it hurts you physically or emotionally. Like, that is just wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, there's some dudes who don't have no morals. There's some dudes who she could do that to. And they'll turn off and hook off on her without even thinking about it. And once she's fucking leaking on the ground, then he got to apologize and all that. Because now he's at his regular senses like, wow, what I did was wrong. And I don't think it's right. I think women take advantage of that double standard. Has any woman ever put her hands on you? <laughs> <laughs> never. No? Never. And it's never going to happen either. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I know that for a fact because I'm not going to do nothing to provoke her to hit me. Yeah. All right. So on a previous show, Cap, you said that if a woman put her hands on you, you would aggressively restrain her. Is aggressively restraining someone not abuse? Did no. I say aggressively restrain? I or did so. I say, like, yeah. well, aggressively restrain means... David, I think you gotta get my phone so we can play the tape back. I, 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 no, no, David, get my phone. We gonna play the tape back to see exactly what he said. Hold on, hold on, Anna. Let, let's hear what he says. All right, give me a second. Oh, she she had this on cue. Yeah, no, no, I, I didn't plan this. She did. You didn't plan this, guys. All right. All right, hold on. I want to hear what he what he said. Man, I don't know why you laughing. Because hey, 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 whoa, 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 David, come close so you can hear the audio. All right. Poor cat. I want to go to the swimmer. You have to be able to put a girl in her place. Hold on. The Wi-Fi is hating on me right now. Hold on, hold on. You set up the Wi-Fi like that so that it couldn't play the tape? I just think. All right, let's try this again. You have to be able to put a girl in her place without nah. abuse. I will, I will no, abuse you might have to abuse her. Nah. You might not. Cut on! Let's. You. Hold on. 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 Hold no, you might have to abuse her, bro. Let's not talk about aggressively restraining right now. Yeah, let's not. No, let, let's. It's, <coughs> we're going to get to him, don't worry. Give me an example as to why you would have to aggressively restrain someone. There was one time a long, 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 long time ago where I heard some news of somebody. Uh, it, was, it was the girl that I was in a relationship with, and I really didn't like the news or whatever, but... I went up to her apartment anyways, we was hanging out, and of course I came out my mouth. I said some things she didn't like for the purpose of I wanted her to kick me out, you know, so I could go home because I really don't want to be there. Why'd you go there in the first place then? Just because I was already, I, was, I, I got the news as soon as I got in front of her house. Okay. So, bang, I was going to leave. Um, she, she already had enough of my shit. She put me out. Bang, I was about to leave, but when I was leaving, it was like kind of too easy for her. She's like, what? Like she, she didn't understand, so she didn't want me to leave. So she blocked the door and everything, and was asking me questions. I really didn't want to answer any questions, so you know she kind of got physical. So I had to aggressively restrain her. It's not just you restrain somebody when they just you know coming at you. What first. makes like the restraint aggressive? Like what are you doing? 
<laughs> you were shaking her up. You were like roofing her up. No. I no, this is not funny. This is not funny. Okay, this is not okay. Funny. I held her tight and I let her go so I could leave. That was aggressively. Is that shaking. not abuse? You put your hands. I don't on think her. that's abuse. Abuse is. He did more than that. Yeah. You do more than that, dude. Why are you looking at him like that? Because I feel like you're really trying to attack him on camera. Like, y'all really think I'm going to say what? Yeah. You I'm going to tell the truth. I already told the truth. I don't think that's abuse, though. Uh, yeah. Why I, do I, you I, think it's okay to smack someone? I don't think it's okay. You said that. You Sometimes might just you might have, have to smack someone. You might have to. Why might you have to smack someone? <clears throat> it depends on the situation. What if she, what if she stabbed you? All right, so let's bring it back to this double standard, which is why are men punished more harshly than women? Is it because men are just stronger than women, so you shouldn't be putting your hands on a female because she can't really defend herself against you? I, I don't really think one. I don't think it's okay for a man to put put uh, his hands on a woman, but I don't think I, I don't, and I don't think it's acceptable for a woman to put. Her hands on a man as well. Like, Everyone needs to I think there has to be so. some type of respect, and if you're crossing the line, then, like, I'm not saying it's right, but you can't be surprised if someone, if you try and hurt someone, and their reaction is to naturally fight back. Like, mm -hmm. don't be shocked at the reaction because of your own action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make it right. But still, you can't be you can't be shocked. So your situation could have went completely left because. You aggressively restraining her could have made her become defensive. She could have thought you were trying to hurt her, and she could have picked the lamp up and hit you with it. No, she knew I wasn't trying to hurt her, but um. Okay, maybe that's true for you, but or you know maybe she knew that, but in another situation, a man could be trying to aggressively restrain someone to calm them down or to get out the house, and she takes that the wrong way, thinks he's trying to hurt her, mm -hmm. and like things go left. Yeah, I mean, definitely, um, things can go left, but like, like Matt said, uh, I got a question for, for you all. Mm -hmm. If I was to shoot the fair ones with you, is that a fair fight? No. So that's why I feel like it's, it's um, we punish more harsh because like men are physically more stronger than women. So if we was to hit y'all, like why would a man even stoop to that level? Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to an elementary school. Let's say my daughter got in a fight with someone in her class. I'm not going to go to her school and square up with the, with the kid, the, the little boy or girl who fought with my daughter. I'm not going to do that because it's not a fair fight. So if a man really takes it to that extent to fight with a woman, it's like, yo, really? Like, what are you trying to prove? Like, like talk to her. You know what I'm saying? There's so many more options that you could do, so many more routes you could take before you get physical with somebody. So every man who does put their hands on a woman, I feel like they should be punished. But once a woman puts her hands on a man, she initiating she initiating a fair fight. Hmm. So you think men are punished more harshly because, like you said, men are stronger than women and it's not a fair fight. It's not. A fair but fight. if a police officer comes to the door because a woman was beaten on a man, it's like, oh, she was just. It's not. She should be punished. Those. She should be punished. But what I'm saying is, if the officer comes to the door, they laugh at us. <laughs> exactly. Alright. Do you have anything you want to touch on about the domestic violence? Um, like Matt said, if you hit a guy, then you should expect him to hit you back. I don't think you should put your hand on anyone. Just based off a reaction. Right. Like, I'm not gonna go hit some a guy just because he pissed me off. If he hits me back, then that's my fault. I should have put my hands on him. If um, a girl keeps a guy's card, does he have the right to put his hands on her? Ooh, no, but this is actually funny, right? Last night, crazy. <laughs> so I get in my whip and I see there's a car in front of me. There's a girl outside. She got a baseball bat. You know, if you're watching, I'll shout out to you because you you were so G. She had a baseball bat. Her man's in the in the in the, um, in, the, in, the in the car, and she's like, someone pulls up. They're like, why you got a baseball bat? She's like, it's about to get real tonight, <laughs> right? So I don't know what what happened, right? So then then um. One of my boys, like a couple of my boys walked by and one of them said hi to the girl. So he's like, hi, she's like, oh, hello. So instantly he gets upset. He gets out the car. Yo, you really gonna disrespect me? You really gonna disrespect me? While she got the bat, right? So she got the bat, she's like, she's, and all she said is play with me, keep playing with me. And all he did was walk back into the car and then he called his boy and said, yo, this girl's really about to hit me with a bat. She's about to hit my, she's about to smash my windows. I don't know what she did, but it just goes to show you like, girl, if a dude did that, it's like, 
it's like this. He's he's oh he's overreacting. But if a girl does it, it's like it's normal girl stuff. It's, she's applauded by. It's her another friends. double standard. Now. Well, it's better than her not hitting him with the bat. Damage the car. The more I'd rather get hit with the bat <clears throat> than hit the car. Do you think we will ever do away with double standards amongst men and women? And can men and women ever be considered equal? Um no. Um, I don't think we're ever going to, I think double standards makes, you know, it makes everything, for lack of a better word, better. But, you know, it's just like, sometimes it's, it's some, it's full, some of the stuff is foolish, but that's just the world that we live in. And you can complain about it all you want, or you can just, you know, adjust, adjust with, with what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, some girls can go to the club and show a little bit of skin and, you know, get in for free. A dude can... Walk to the door and show a bouncer some chest hair, you know? <laughs> it ain't, it ain't gonna work. Lie, bro. It ain't gonna work, you know? You just gotta, you gotta take it and leave it. What's your closing statement? I think, um, to answer your question, there's gonna be double standards created, mm -hmm. but I think, um, the, to also answer your question, double standards is kind of like religion. It's just used to control adults. Mm. This is just like religion, like, like, for especially with women, like, because of that double standard of y'all being a hoe, y'all gotta move a certain way. But the reality of the thing is, men are hoes if we do what women would do to be considered a hoe, mm -hmm. but it's just that double standard. Like, who set that double standard? A man. a man. Exactly. So it's just like religion. It's just created to control adults. Mm -hmm. That's all. Annalie, closing remarks? Um, I think it kind of helps build standards, like the double standard being there. I feel like because there's like that double standard of you being a female can't sleep with certain guys or a certain amount of guys, it helps create that standard of what you expect from someone. Mm -hmm. So That's a good point. Yeah, I think it helps build That's standards. That's what I was trying to say, but you, you said it perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Well, Annalie, thank you so much for being a part of our discussion. We really mm -hmm. appreciate it. You have to come back sometime. Never did. <laughs> because you was ganging up on her and now she doesn't want to come back. I was ganging up on her. Let's right. not talk about it. Mm -hmm. I love the argument. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of Open for Discussions, and we will see you guys again soon.